Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how I budget, how I was able to afford traveling, how I was able to be financially secure when I was let go from my 9 to 5 accounting job, and how I was also able to use that money to start a business. So yeah, let me tell you my budgeting technique. Now, I started teaching online in March of 2018. At that point, I had maybe two or three thousand dollars in my bank account. I was working my nine to five job, paying back my student loans, and my best friend and I really want to go to New York City. <laughs> we were dying to go to New York City. It sounded like so much fun. It just, I had to go. But at that time, I was just couldn't rationalize, you know, dropping money on a random trip to New York when the funds were not ideal, okay? Two to three thousand dollars in your bank account and you still gotta pay back student loans and then you're gonna go spend a thousand dollars in New York? It doesn't make much sense. So what I did is I googled, I searched the internet high and low and everywhere you could go. That rhymed? Weird? Okay, anyway. But I searched everywhere. I wanted to find an online job that I could ideally do from home and one that was flexible around my schedule so that I can do it around my nine to five accounting job and one that made lots of money and that I enjoyed. And that's when I found VIP Kid, AKA the thing that changed my life. So I found VIP Kid, signed up, got approved, started teaching online, and that seriously changed the game for me financially. I decided from that moment on, if there was a trip I wanted to go on, if there was something I wanted to do, I was going to have the savings and the ability to do whatever I wanted. AKA go on any trip I wanted. <laughs> so I implemented this strategy to get my finances in check. This budgeting technique has not only allowed me the opportunities I've had to travel, but also has allowed me to start my business and allowed me to be financially stable when I was let go from my accounting position, like I said earlier. So what was it? How did I do it? This is how I did it. So once I started teaching online, I would teach for one to three hours before work in the morning, Monday through Friday. Um, if you watch my how to become a full-time ESL teacher <laughs> video, in that video I go over burnout and how to actually like, you know, make your schedule so that you don't go crazy from teaching online so much. But at the beginning, like, I was obsessed. And I still love it to this day, which is why I still do it. But at the beginning, I was obsessed. <laughs> I taught it so much. So I ended up dialing it back from, you know, teaching morning and night and weekends to just teaching Monday through Friday for one to three hours. Three was a crazy day, but two was like my sweet spot. You know what I mean? So I would teach for one to two hours before work, Monday through Friday, like I said, eight times by now. <laughs> I would go to work, so my normal nine to five, and then I would come home and, you know, go to the gym or relax or whatever I wanted to do that day. Now, this is where my technique comes into place. I got paid every two weeks at my accounting job. So the first paycheck went straight to expenses, i.e. my student loans, pretty much. <laughs> so anything I needed, check was pretty much eaten up by student loans. So that was my first check. My second check of the month, um, I put 80% of it into savings. So no matter what, I put 80% into savings. And then whatever was left over, was, you know, my, I could go to Ulta or, you know, if we went to a weekend trip or something, just kind of just free spending money, right? And then the VIP kid money that I made, all of that went towards kind of the same thing as my spending money. Like I could use it to travel, I could use it for makeup, I could use it however I wanted to, to go out that night, to go eat with friends, whatever. But that was my spending money. I would usually cap it at like, four or five hundred dollars in my checking and anything left like left over after that I would put into my savings so not only am I saving the 80 percent from my paycheck for my accounting job but I also saved um the excess from my teaching online job and what I made on my teaching online it was anywhere from like 500 to 1200 dollars a month um that year because again I went crazy <laughs> some months I went crazy and I was like oh, this is amazing and I would teach you know 1500 uh, dollars worth and then the next month I would be so burnt out and I would only make like 300 because <laughs> I was just tired so that's the important thing about not burning out being consistent like I said at the beginning of the year March 2018 like I had two or three thousand dollars in my bank account like could barely afford a weekend trip at the end of 2018 like my savings was killer okay like killer and I was able to afford uh, a $3,000 trip to Ireland and then that next month I was going on a ski trip with my best friend and her family and that was you know $1,500 just for that um, 
So yeah, I was able to afford any traveling trips that I wanted to. Again, I had a killer savings and I was just living my best life. So besides the two trips, you know, Ireland in December 2018 and then Tahoe in 2019, um, fast forward a little bit in 2019, I was let go from said accounting job in July of 2019. They redesigned the accounting department me and another accountant were let go. So um, yeah, I decided that the savings that I had, I was going to follow what I wanted to do, which was travel and make money online. It was not easy, <laughs> but the savings that I had made all the difference because I was not only able to live in the Philippines for four months with no worries, <laughs> I was also able to start a couple businesses, I was able to start my YouTube, I was able to, you know, start running Facebook ads for companies and really start doing what I enjoyed way more than accounting. So I am very thankful that I saved all that money, I'm very thankful that I was let go from that job and I'm very thankful for where I am now. There's a lot of progress to be made, but I just really love 23 year old Catherine's <laughs> budgeting techniques and I would like to share them with you. So I hope that helps you. Um, I hope it inspires you. I hope you are able to save a ton of money. I hope you are able to jumpstart whatever you want to do, your dreams, your traveling expeditions, your makeup collection, whatever gives you life. I hope this budgeting technique helps you start yours. It, again, it's just, 80% in savings, teach online. <laughs> That's pretty much what it all boils down to. Now, I am coming out with a course later this year <laughs> all about how I was able to do all this, how I was able to um, more in depth about my budgeting and where that money went specifically and all the fun stuff about that. So if you're interested, definitely sign up for my email list. My website is down below. Um, that course or membership or whatever, however I'm gonna do it, is coming out in a couple months. I promise you, you'll wanna get on that. It um, definitely changed my life for the better and I hope it can help anyone else who felt the way I did two, three years ago, so. Anyway, this video was a little all over the place, but I hope my point got across, save your money, that's my favorite technique on saving your money and I plan on going into way more detail in my course coming out very soon. So anyway, if this video helped you at all, please give it a big like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos about traveling and teaching online and whatever this was. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.